Hello, this is Terry Dean from MyMarketingCoach.com. We earn more, work less, and enjoy life. During one of, one of my recent interviews, the interviewer asked me, what was my favorite business book? And that really got me to thinking, what is my favorite business book? What is your favorite business book? What's a book that's really affected and changed your life in the business world? I mean, I read constantly. I read pretty much a business book almost every week. And so there's a lot of books I go through, and I get a lot of information for the book. One of, one of the practices I have is whenever I go through a book, I try to write down a few action steps to take out of the book. So I'm going to do one, two, and three, at least a couple of steps. And if I get just one change in my life, one thing that I can grow in my business, then the book was definitely worth it to me. So what would be my favorite business book? And when thinking about it, I thought some of the qualifications for being my favorite business book, would it would have to be a book that I keep going over again and again. So I have to read it at least three times minimum, if not more. The book would have to really change my life for the better once you read it. So I mean, it has to really have a noticeable improvement on my life. I need to be able to track the results to know that the book really gave me improvement. I'm not someone who just likes what they call the self-help books. Hey, read this book, feel better about yourself. No, I want to see books that will give me some real results, some real changes, some real actions that I can basically track and see the results from. And it had to be a book that I could recommend to others, knowing it would produce great results for them. And it needed to be a book that was pretty much evergreen and that would consistently produce results now and in the future. So thinking about those types of strategy, I mean, the first thing that came to mind, obviously, for the was the Bible because the Bible's affected my life in all those ways. It's changed my life and it's made the biggest change in my life. But that wasn't the answer that they were really searching for in a business book. So I was thinking more about it. Were there any other books that met the qualifications? And there were a few books that I've had that really do met the qualification. The one that really comes to my strongest is a book that really changed my life when I started in the internet business wasn't nearly as life-changing as the Bible, but I still, I've read it more than five times minimum. I probably read it 10 times or more. I'm not sure, but I've read it at least five times. It changed my financial life. It made me more profitable, and I know exactly how it made me more profitable by tracking. I could easily recommend it to others, and it contains value even though it was written years ago. So it's definitely an evergreen type book. And that book is Scientific Advertising by Claude Hopkins. Matter of fact, it had such an effect on me that this book was in the public domain since it was written so long ago that I actually produced a version called, that I called internet, Scientific Internet Advertising where I talked about how a lot of these lessons applied to the internet. Because here's a few of the foundational lessons I learned from scientific advertising. I learned that advertising is salesmanship in print. Basically, it, advertising is taking a good salesperson and applying what they would do in person to your website, to your ad, to whatever you're doing, you want to really match up. Just like you wouldn't restrict the words that that small person would say in their live sales presentation, you don't want to restrict them online. And in the same way, you want to build the relationship just like that sales person would one-on-one. -on -one. And so I, you can really think about so many angles of the sales that we make online the same way that you would do if you were just one-on-one -on -one in front of a prospect. Another lesson he taught was you always be specific about your claims. So that means if there's a specific number that you can give, you give that number. You don't just say a lot of. You try to always be specific about your claims in any ad that you're doing. You want to tell your full story every time. And I know that from my own history that any time I've left out my pizza delivery story, the fact that I was delivering pizzas for Little Caesars before I came online, it's always affected my sales because I left out my story. You need to tell your whole story of a product every time. The next one is that we need to fulfill desires. We can't create them. A lot of people try to create a desire in people for prevention, for example, so that they'll prevent some pain or some problem. But that's not how things work. People have a desire of something they want to change now. They want to solve a problem that they feel now. And what you want to do is you want to fulfill the desires. You want to solve the problem they have. Creating desire is too expensive. It's too tough for a small business. You simply can't do it. So you have to look for desires that are already out there and fulfill those. Know your customers and your competition. I recently completed a project with Glenn Livingston called the Total Conversion Code. And throughout the process, Glenn taught us step-by-step -step how to do our research into a market. And one of the 
statements I remember so well from him is that he said the research we can do today is the same research that companies would have spent $250,000 on just 10 years ago. So we have a lot of advantage today, and that's research we can do for free online when you know the system. Another lesson we learned from Claude Hopkins is that samples are a strong sales tool, and samples can often be your best sales tool. In an information business, that means we give samples of our information. We actually share that information with people. And then the last one is you want to always test everything in your advertising, and that's been with me since the very beginning. I test, have always tested whatever I'm doing with advertising. There's that old statement that half of your advertising is wasted. You just don't know which half. The way that you find out is that you test and track all of your ads. You test small with a small budget, and when something works, then you roll it out bigger and bigger as time goes on. But you always have that aspect that I'm going to test everything that I'm doing in the business. Scientific advertising was written years ago. So the language and the examples that are used throughout it are outdated, but the lessons hold true even in the internet age. You can search online. You can find a lot of copies of scientific advertising for free. You can go over and pick up a copy of it on my website, mymarketingcoach.com slash scientificadvertising.pdf. You can pick up a copy of it because it's a great book. I recommend you go through it. I've been through it multiple times myself, at least five times, if not more. And it really will set you on the right foundation for advertising online. And then if you want to go deeper in your advertising, you want to learn what works today in online marketing, then I recommend you check out Total Conversion Code by Glenn Livingston and I. Again, that's TotalConversionCode.com.